this exam is considered to be most difficult out of all five DGC exams. You will find many students who clear this exam in three to four attempts. But believe me, it's not that hard. You can clear it in your first attempt if you make a perfect approach towards it. Hey everybody, welcome back to this channel. I'm Vivek Dakar. I hope you all are doing well. First of all, sorry for not uploading any content from past two months. Actually, I was occupied with some work, which I'll discuss in some other upcoming video. So this video is going to be all about navigation exam. How I had cleared my navigation exam in first attempt, and how you can. So I had prepared few topics and tips which will help you to clear your exam, navigation exam in your first attempt. Mainly this year navigation subject is divided into three parts which are general navigation, instrumentation and radio navigation. Air navigation by RK Bali and Oxford series of books. These two are the best for this subject. RK Bali is as per DGC CPL syllabus while Oxford books are mainly for EASA ATPL but topics are explained in a better way in Oxford books. So I'll recommend you to follow the sequence and index of RK Bali Search all those topics and content in Oxford and study from there. Skip the EASA ATPL topics which aren't mentioned in RK Bali. First, we are starting with general navigation and our first topic is solar system. From this topic, you should know about the two laws of Kepler's planetary motion, Earth's tilt angle, season with respect to position of Earth during the year, twilights, twilight and horizon angle. I got a question on astronomical twilight in my exam. You should also know about the latitude which receives continuous sunlight for a few months in summer of that hemisphere and the latitude which not receives any sunlight during winter of that hemisphere. Next chapter is Earth where we need to study about Earth, Earth's compression ratio, latitude, longitude, meridian, graticule, great circle, rum line. Do this great circle and drum line topic very thoroughly because it is important as per exam point of view. Next topic is projection. This is about different kind of projection used in making of maps and charts like cylindrical projection, conical and polar stereographic projection. Study the properties of drum line and great circle. How they appear on each kind of chart. Make a table and compare all three kinds of projections. Next topic is Convergency. Understand the concept of Convergency thoroughly. Practice a lot of sums because this chapter is important from numerical point of view. I got a question like this with different values in my exam. Next chapter is Time. Learn all the definitions about LMT, GMT, UTC, Zone, Time and Number. Practice Time sums on different longitude, GMT to LMT or between any two given latitude. Use the scientific calci with degree functions for time and longitude calculation. It will automatically do the minute and seconds calculation without extra efforts. If you wish, I'll make a separate video for that. Afterwards, we have magnetism and compasses. It's a good chapter to score easy marks. We study about Earth, Earth's magnetic field lines, properties of magnet, horizontal vertical component, dip angle, practice sums on CDMVT, Learn thumb rules like deviation east, compass least, variation west, magnetic west, etc. You should also know about acceleration and deacceleration error in compasses. Dead recoggling. This topic initially can look complicated, but this isn't. First, understand the definition like heading, course, drift, required track, etc. Then this CX3 flight computer will do the rest of work. Play with this calcy in your free time and master it as you can get around 8 to 10 marks by just feeding data correctly in this device. Next topic is measurement of elements. Learn the formula, definition and meaning of safe endurance, point to CP, time to CP, DP, PNR. Learn the theory about DP, PNR like how fuel had been tailwind affects the distance and time of CP and PNR. You will get a few questions with combined concept of this chapter and dead recovery. In-flight navigation. This is a numerical based topic on concept of 1 by 60 rule, which is a simplified version of trigonometry. From this topic, you should know the basic formulas to calculate rate of descent, aircraft distance from airport, 
and questions be like if aircraft is deviated from course closing angle to reach or new heading to station and similar kind of questions mass and balance it is one of the most important chapter you will get good number of questions from this single topic before directly jumping on numericals understand the definitions like balance arm datum mean aerodynamic chord etc study about different terms and types of masses like dry operating mass basic empty mass take off mass which mass includes what and what not then practice questions as much as you can remember this formula it will help you for all types of payload sums performance this chapter is mostly theory you should know about basic definitions like angle of climb angle of attack different kinds of v speeds climb gradient run by declared distances you should also know about stop way clear way screen height and different categories of aircraft study effects of increasing aeroplane mass how it will affect b speeds take off landing run and other things study how stability stick forces is going to be affected if cg is on forward limit or aft limit you will get direct question from this little theory so make sure you learn it flight planning and monitoring this topic is all about flight plan and its component you should know about regulations of filing a flight plan meaning of flight plan components this is the ecow flight plan format these all boxes are called items you should know about each and every item and the data filled in each you should also know number of characters can be inserted in one in my exam i got two questions from this chapter and one was the number of character can be inserted in item number 7 and the other question was how prior before departure flight plan can be submitted now we are moving to second part of navigation which is instrumentation in instrumentation we will study about different kinds of instrument used in aircraft first we will study about air data instrument or the instrument which sends air around to work like air speed indicator altimeter vertical speed indicator first understand the air data system its component such as pitot tube static tube study which tube supplies what pressure to which instrument first air data instrument is altimeter understand the working principle of an altimeter study different kinds of altimeter its working principle error and leakages also learn how to read an altimeter and which needle indicates what value next instrument is air speed indicator which shows the aircraft speed by sensing difference between total and static pressure that is dynamic pressure again study and understand the principle of asi learn to read the instrument which line and which arc indicate what study errors and leakages of asi The last air data instrument is vertical speed indicator. This instrument shows rate of climb and descent by measuring rate of pressure change. Here also study about the errors and working principle. Study about instantaneous vertical speed indicator. Practice rate of ascent and descent questions using 1 by 60 rule. So these three was the air data instrument. These topics are smaller and little easier. Just understand the working principle and errors. Next instrument is gyroscope little lengthy as compared to other air data instrument study the principle of gyro rigidity precision learn the different kinds of gyroscope source of operation etc there are total four instrument which works on gyro which are artificial horizon direction gyro indicator turn coordinator study about wander and errors in gyroscope learn and analyze the different kinds of needle and wall combination of a turn coordinator and disc indicator next instrument is radio altimeter though it's a small chapter but important from exam point of view this chapter will help you to score easy marks learn the theory of this chapter remember the frequency band remember up to what height it is reliable that is 2500 feet last topic of this instrument part is basics of electronic display you should know about all types of display mode like vor mode full vor mode plane mode ls mode etc you should also know about color coding of information displayed on a screen from this chapter at least one picture question is fixed most of the time question is asked with a picture to answer the mode displayed on a screen now we are moving to radio navigation first chapter as per arkewali is basic radio theory 
This chapter is kind of introduction about terms and principle of radio navigation. Mostly theory and few easy numerical questions to find frequency from wavelength or vice versa. Numerical to find range or to find height of transmitter or receiver. I study all theory about propagation, refraction, polarization, etc. Next, we have radio navigation devices or instrument ADF, NDV, VOR, RMI. I study the theory behind all these devices, the frequency on which they work upon. Learn how to read this instrument. And after that, solve the track and drift questions. These questions are going to be little tricky, so practice as much as you can. These all questions ask very frequently in NAV exam. You will need concept of 1 by 60 rule, CDMBT and little data recognition. These types of questions cover good weightage in radio navigation. Next radio instrument is ILS or instrument landing system. This ILS nav aid is used for approach and landings. It provides lateral and vertical guidance in different frequency band. Do this chapter thoroughly, study about category 2 ILS, category 3 ILS as well. Don't get confused with frequency band as it is shared with BOR as well. Remember the word love, L for localizer, O for odd, and B for BOR, E for even. Radar. This topic is about radar principle and application. You can get asked about theory and numerical about range of radar. You should know about different modes of radar. Moving further to SSR, secondary surveillance radar. You should know about different mode, their uses and operation procedures. Remember a special code and you should know about which code is used when and which condition. In my exam, I got two questions from this small topic, so do it nicely. So I think I had covered all topics from radio, instrument and journal navigation. Make a note of these topics and parts and what you can do is that you can make a good sheet and can write all these points line by line in a better way. And whenever you complete a topic, mark a tick in front of it. So by this trick, you will not miss any topic as navigation is a very very vast subject. After finishing the complete syllabus, you can solve sample paper from RK Bali. Keith William questions and back questions of Oxford. I am sure if you will cover all these topics thoroughly and will practice numerical based on them, you will easily able to clear this exam with good marks in your first attempt. Don't skip the theory to solve numericals as both things are dependent. Don't underestimate any topic nor give extra time to any. Focus equally in all topics. Master the CX3 to get 6 to 8 easy marks. And if you want a separate video for CX3 and scientific KLC, let me know in comments. In description, I'll attach link to download questions that I got in my exam, March 2022 attempt. Follow me on Instagram and join my Telegram group where I and other members keep sharing useful information, material and updates. Links are in description. Thanks for watching this video. Press thumbs up if you like it and subscribe for such more. Thanks for the love and support you people have shown in past few months.